All right, you guys, so as you know, Photoshop dropped some new updates regarding to some really interesting AI tools, and we're gonna test out today the new Harmonize feature. So let's take a look, how does this perform? I gotta do this for the first time. So by the way, I'm gonna use Photoshop beta because in the normal Photoshop, the Harmonize option is not working in the toolbar. So if in your situation, you're running into the same issue, you can go here to the Creative Cloud desktop, and let's go here to the apps. And check this out here, we got the beta and you also can try it out in Photoshop beta. So I'm gonna go back to Photoshop beta and I'm gonna use this background as a reference and I'm gonna drag and drop a model, which basically is in the similar colors. And let's go to the contextual taskbar, click on remove background. And after you removed it, as you can see, this is halfway blended in already. But now here in the background image, we got like halfway orange and halfway blue lights. So let's take a look what it's gonna do. So here we got the contextual taskbar and we got a new button here, the harmonize. Click on it. And of course, this is going to generate credits. It's gonna use one credit per generation if you paid for it, of course. And hit OK. And let's wait for it. So this is not that bad. As you can see, we got like orange nuances already in the jacket. Now, I don't necessarily like the facial part, how they integrated the orange. But check this out here, you can switch up. We got like one out of three. So you can click on this arrow or you can go here and select the variations right here. I was hoping some better results, but you also can generate some more if you want. I think it's going to generate the same thing as before. It's gonna blow out the face with like orange colors. Actually, this one came out really good. Take a look at that. So far is the best. So I'm gonna press control plus one. So it's gonna zoom in and I'm gonna uncheck it. So this is the original picture. And now we got the AI generated version. I think this is insane. And now some of the areas, check this out. Like for example, the earrings, the original one is like high quality. And if you put the AI generated version, it is going to decrease the quality a little bit. But overall, this is like impressive, dude. You can see the contrast in the original is like way more crisper. And then the AI takes away the quality a little bit. So take that in mind, this is new technology and it's just gonna get improved more and more. Now I'm gonna uncheck this model and I'm gonna drag it in another one. For example, this one is on the beach and here I just wanna challenge the AI and I'm just curious how it's gonna combine like two different styles. One image is like sunny daytime and the other one is like nighttime. So it seems like it really underexposed the image, you know, in order to match the environment because we had like high contrast light colors in the original image. So we're gonna switch this. Here you can see we got like more editing going on. We got like more lights. I think the second one is the greatest. And here we got the original. And then this one, which is a little bit more underexposed, but I can go here to the adjustments. And for example, select the curves and with the control, lock it to the new layer. And here you can increase the exposure and you know, there you go. I also wanted to try out another interesting scenario. And in this example, I'm gonna use a winter background image with a lot of snow and Christmas vibe. And then I'm gonna put this image on it, which is like super sunny, high contrast, it's on the beach. And check this out how bad it looks so far. And let's apply the harmonize. Again, I'm just doing this just to push the boundaries of the AI. So take a look at that. This came out perfect. I think this is like 10 out of 10 from the first go. And here we got like a second option. Again, this is great. Third one, it's even better. It seems like the quality is still outstanding versus the original one. I think this is insane. So unfortunately, guys, it seems like photo manipulation is kind of dead. And it seems like this is gonna be the new tool that is going to replace the designers who does photo manipulation, this harmonize button here, and that's it. I mean, hopefully that won't be the case, but damn, dude, this is mad accurate. And for the last example, I can use this beach with palm trees as a background and check this out. Here we get the image with the model. Now, again, this image is really cold. There is no sun involved. So let's take a look how it's gonna blend in. Hit harmonize. And pretty much that's all the tutorial, a button. I think we're screwed, dude. And check this out. Here we got the results and we got the original one. And check this out. Now she looks more prettier also. So pretty much this is it. What can I say? Now instead of working 10 hours on a photo manipulation, now you can click just one button here, generate, wait for it for a couple of seconds and, and boom, there you go. I think I waited like one minute. So a human being probably does a photo manipulation like this in under an hour. And then we got the AI that does under a minute. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but we're cooked.